everyone, it's Nicholas Alianis. Um, today I'm going to show you how to ship a tennis racket uh, per request by Autumn's Upscale Resale. I watch your channel all the time and learn a lot from you Autumn, so thanks for sharing what you do. Um, if you're not in on the tennis racket game, you can make a lot of money off of these. They sell, typically, I, I paid $3 for this one for example, it sold for $70. Um, in the past, how I've shipped these, basically I take a regular box like this, you know, um, I got these from McDonald's, they just throw them away, so if you have a store or a restaurant nearby, often, you know, their stuff is coming in boxes, and they're expensive to buy boxes, so, you know, find a source that is just getting rid of them anyway. Um, so I would make a little envelope out of that with, you know, one inch size. Um, I basically cut the side down and fold it over and it's a little tough to fold cardboard so today I'm going to do a slightly different method and I want to show you all in real time you know how much time this should take so keep in mind you know before the eBay fees and shipping costs I've made $67 profit on this tennis racket so the time that it takes you know if you factor in your what you make per hour, so to speak. Pretty decent. Okay. So basically we just cut the flaps off. Alright, so when doing that I end up with a bunch of, you know, scrap cardboard pieces. These are great for filling in other shipments because you can fold them up to kind of make shapes that would hold things that would otherwise be loose in a box in place. And uh, when shipping like game cartridges or CDs, I can uh, put them right in here and fold them. Well, I'll show you this way. Put them in here fold them over and wrap this in paper and you have a protective case. So save these things, don't just throw them away. Okay, so I've got two pieces of cardboard. That's all it took. A lot of cutting. My arm's a little tired, but um, it's all worth it here. So we set the tennis racket down on one. Okay, the other one goes right over the top. And then, uh, just take tape, and I'm going to tape just uh, two on each side, like one here, one here, one here, one here, and then one on the bottom and one on the top. Then we're going to wrap this package in paper um, to give it a nice professional look. It's going to protect the tennis racket, and... Uh, it's going to be really lightweight. In fact, most of these tennis rackets ship first class, which is excellent um, for under $5. So huge profit margins, low shipping costs. Yes. Um, it's easier to turn it on its side just to keep the thickness of the box intact. And you just press on both sides of the box and pull the tape over rather than trying to flip it over and keep it together and all that. So then when I, you know, flip the side, it's that easy. I'll just put my piece of tape across here and here um, and be done with it. As you can see, I've got, like I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, short pieces of tape to hold this together. Um, so it goes a little easier on the tape than trying to keep a whole box with the sides together. It's a lot of tension on that. Um, so you can smash it down. It doesn't really matter. And you'll also notice that the tennis racket is at an angle. Um, it's okay if it moves around while it's shipping, but it's not likely that it's going to. By putting it at an angle, you can make the length of the box shorter. Um, so if you're not working with a lot of cardboard or whatever, it'll save you, you know, what little bit you do have. So, next step is to wrap this in paper. You see, <laughs> this says Mac fries, French fried potatoes. If I sent it like this, the sides are exposed and uh, this would be really unprofessional. But, I'm going to just wrap it in paper, which is also going to keep the sides together in case the tape comes through.
paper is extra rolled up. <coughs> now this side is blank, so just in case the paper isn't long enough to reach over, I'm going to make this side the side I fold onto, um, so it doesn't say Mac Prize in the middle. It'll just be a blank piece of cardboard that they see. Um, so, geez, this tape is just awful. Okay, just take that side like that to hold it in place. Same on this side. Now this paper I believe is 30 inches wide. I just buy it at my local Dollar Tree for like a 15 yard roll. Um, sure you can probably get a better deal if you buy more at a time. Lazy. So here we go. Another piece of tape to hold this side of the paper in place. And I'm just simply folding it over. And you might want to fold these sides in at like an angle to keep them kind of contained. small piece of tape and it looks like it is going to cover the whole box but we'll see it's all right okay so you see we've got both sides done i'm just going to take the tape you know i keep the tape ripped when i did that but you've got a short piece of tape to hold them together while you grab a long piece which you run right down the middle of that seam there I also like to run pieces. I just like to have the whole thing kind of covered. So maybe that's why I buy the cheap tape because I like to use a lot of it. Um, I don't know. I'll off the screen, so. There they are. Okay. So. Inside the cheap tape. Okay, so that's taped. This side is so close together, we can actually run a piece right across it. And there you go, we got a complete packaged tennis racket. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this up and show you guys, you know, what kind of shipping costs you can expect. So I'm gonna weigh it in ounces. So this one's not going to meet the first class requirement. Um, still very light at 25.8 ounces roughly. Maybe if I set it on this side, it will hold it as well. So I'm probably going to say 27 ounces on this, just to include the label and the tape that's going to go on that. Um, that works out to one pound and 11 ounces but if you just enter 27 ounces in ebay shipping it'll calculate that for you um so i'll let you guys know is what the shipping label costs be right back all right and here is our final product and uh this cost me nine dollars and 86 cents to ship priority mail which is a little high i think i just used thick cardboard for this one um so if you use a slightly thinner cardboard it can save you on the weight enough to maybe put you in the first class rate which i'm used to paying um but they paid 70 dollars for this tennis racket so paying 10 to ship it to them quickly is fine by me um so i hope this helps you all and uh good luck out there picking i'll see you at the next video